Hi everybody, today we have another guest speaker, Max. And he Woo! was the former student. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm going to show a couple of really interesting problems. So I will show you how to find a couple of real, really interesting sums. Also, I will uh, calculate a couple of uh, serious problems. <laughs> All yours! I'm yeah. going to be out of the picture now. Okay. So, we, I will name this sum in terms of s of k. So let's find uh, what is this sum is equal to for k equal to zero. And you can see this is like really like simple and trivial. Why? Because uh, if you have number a and number a to the power of zero, it's just going to be equal to one. Yeah. So in this case, each of these terms is going to be equal to one. And I will have one plus one plus one plus one plus one. And uh, how many ones I have? I have n ones. So s of zero is going to be equal to n. So for first k equal to zero, my s of zero is equal to n. So in a case when we have k equal to one, I will prove this formula by using one really interesting trick. So what I'm going to do, I will write the same like s1 equal, but here I will change the order of my terms. So I will write down as n plus n minus 1 plus ta 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 plus uh, 2 plus 1. So in this case I will just write n minus 1 plus n. And what I'm going to do, when I have these two sums, I'm going to add them up. So in this case, you can see if I will add uh, s1 plus s1, I will get 2 s1. But what I will get for each of this term? You can see if I will add n plus 1, I will get as a result n plus 1. Yeah, if I will add 2 plus n minus 1, I will get n plus 1. And so on. If I will get n minus 1 plus 2, I will get n plus 1. And the last term is going to be also n plus 1. And right now you can see, by uh, finding the sum for, uh, for k equal to 1, I made the same uh, approach when I was looking for uh, s0. Why? Because right now I have n equal terms. So all these terms is going to be equal to n times n plus 1. So what I get? I get that 2s1 equal n n plus 1. Here I can see that my s1 is equal n, n plus 1 over 2. So we got our result for k when k equal to 2. And let me prove this formula when k is equal to 2. So in this case you can see you have 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square double uh, dot, dot dot and plus n square. And what can I do? If I'm gonna to change the order, it's not going to help me. Why? Because n square plus 1 square doesn't equal to n plus 1 square, so I cannot use this method. But, but what I'm going to use, I'm going to use another trick. So what is this, what is the trick? Uh, let's consider this expression, n plus 1 cube minus n cube. Let's find uh, what is this equal to. And this is equal to n cube plus 3n square plus 3 times n plus 1 minus n cubed. So you can write this down as n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed equal to 3n square plus uh, 3n plus 1. So you see we got this formula. yeah. And you maybe ask yourself, how are we going to use this formula? And again, we, can, we are going to use some kind of ordering and some kind of manipulation of these objects. So what I'm going to do, I will take uh, some cases for this n. So let's write this down when n is equal to 1. So when n is equal to 1, what we will get? We will get 2 cube minus 1 cube equal 3 1 square plus 3 times 1 plus 1. Okay, good enough. So let's write this down for n equal to 2. So what I will get? I'll get 3 cubed minus 2 cubed equal 3, 2 square plus 3 times 2 plus 1. Yeah. 
And let's do one more for n equal to 3. I will get 4 minus 2 q equal 3. And let me do like this in a case when n is equal, for example, to m minus 1. So what would I will get? I will get <coughs> m cubed minus m minus 1 cubed equal 3 m minus 1 squared plus 3 m minus 1 plus 1. And our last term is going to be uh, n equal to m. I will have m plus 1 cubed minus m cubed equal 3m squared plus 3m plus 1. Okay, I got this table, really nice table, and right now I'm going to do magic. So what is magic <laughs> is about? It's about, okay, so I have 2 cube and negative 2 cube. I will cancel them out. Wow. I have, oh, sorry, it's actually it's 3. Yes, 2 minus 3 cube. I have 3, to, 3 cube, negative 3 cube. I got cancel out. 4 cube, negative 4 cube. I get cancel out. M, uh, m cube negative uh, minus m cube get cancel out, and negative and this term also get cancel out. So on the left side, what I will get, I will get a m plus one cube uh, minus one cube equal. What about right hand side? In right hand side, you can see three is a common uh, uh, number for all these terms. And I have 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, m minus 1 squared, and etc. And this is my goal. And I'm going to factor 3. So on the right hand side, I will have 3. I'm going to factor 3. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus, plus m squared. And this is sums that we want to find. But what, what is else we are left with? We're left with 3. We're going to factor 3, it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus m minus 1 plus m. But this sum we know, this is going to be n and m e times m plus 1 over 2. So here we will have 3 times, and what is this sum is equal to s1. And what is this 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1 n times? n times is just going to be s0. So make plus s0. Okay, so what we know, what we got, we got that m plus 1 cube minus 1 cube equal to uh, 3 and let's name uh, this one as s2 and this is my goal that I want to find, this is s2 and what is my s1? My s1 is 3 times s1 uh, in our case is n equal to m, so I have m m plus 1 over 2 and uh, plus s0, and s0 is n, so plus m. And right now, you can see an amazing thing. We, is our known is s2. We know this is our m, we have numbers, so right now, we can solve this equation for s2. Mm. And we'll get the sum, we will get expression in terms of m for this sum. So let's do it. Let's first find uh, m plus 1 cube minus 1. So it's going to be m cube uh, plus um, 3m square plus 3m plus 1 minus 1. Yeah. Uh, what I will get here? Here I will get 3 times s2 uh, plus 3 half m square plus m plus m. Yep. So here 1 got cancelled. And let's multiply both sides by 2. So what I will get, I will get 2m cubed plus 6m squared plus 3, oh, not 3, plus 6m, plus 6m, equal uh, 6 times s2. And after I multiply by 2, we have 3m squared. 3m plus, we, remember we multiply by 2, so it's 2m, 2m plus 3m is going to be plus 5m. So, and let's right now solve this for s2. So what we get? We get 2m cubed plus 6m squared plus 6m minus 3m squared minus 5m equal 6 times s2. So you can see that 6 times s2 is equal 2m cubed 
plus 6m square minus 3m square, I will get uh, tr uh, 3m square. And 6m minus 5m, I got m. Uh, right now, I'm going to factor m. So it's going to be 6s2. It's going to be m, 2m square plus 3m plus 1. And you can uh, see Professor Chow's video about how to factor this quadratic polynomials. <laughs> and you can get this really cool curve that this equal to m times 2m plus 1, m plus 1. And we're almost done. We just need to divide both sides by 6. And so our final answer is that s2 is equal m, m plus 1, times 2m plus 1, divide by 6. Yeah, so this is our formula for s2. So you can see that our s2 is actually is equal n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, over 6. I'm done. Wow. <laughs>